So winter is around the corner and it's getting really, really cold out there. And some of the fragrances that I love to wear during this time of the year are cozy fragrances. And I associate cozy fragrances with notes like milk, tea, vanilla, musks, powdery fragrances. Those are really, really cozy for me. They're very co comforting. And just have, uh, when you spray them on, just have that kind of uh, relaxed feeling. And you know, you can wear these during the day when you don't want, you're having maybe perhaps a, a stressful job to kind of like uh, by the smell kind of to calm you and relax you. Or when you want to just at home sit by yourself or with someone that you love and wear this fragrance and smell great and relax while you're wearing it. So in this video, I'm putting together 14 different from fragrances that I find very, very cozy to wear during the colder months, winter months, and things like that. If you're curious to learn about them, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yeah, today we're talking about cozy fragrances to wear in the winter time or when it, and whenever it is cold out there. And again, as I said, uh, I associate certain notes to give me that cozy, comforting feeling. Milk, vanilla, tea, powdery notes, some other vanillic notes or gourmand notes, of course, powdery notes, as I said, musky notes and things like that I associate with very, very cozy uh, experiences when you're wearing the fragrances. Let's go ahead and get started with the first one. I'm going to the House of Commodity. Are you a fan of this house? I did a video on this collection. This is a really, really great uh, collection of, or of fragrances, especially the scent-based collection. We've got Milk Plus here from Commodity. Milky fragrances are definitely cozy for me. This is a musky, milky fragrance and powdery as well. Um, I actually hung out with a perfumer for a whole day a couple of weeks ago, uh, Christelle Laprade. Uh, she did some fragrances for Mind Games and she mentioned she did this to me and I'm like, oh, that's right. And this is a really solid release. If you like it, very comforting and cozy and relaxing uh, with the kind of a milky type of a note in fragrances, then definitely try Milk Plus. I think you can get away with all three of those fragrances. I'm going with the plus because I wanted it to be a little concentrated and a little more intense. This next one's from the house of Maison Mataha. It's Escapade Gourmand. This is a sweeter take on uh, vanilla. And it's called Escapade Gourmand, but I feel like the vanilla here is king, uh, along with black sugar. They say black sugar, so there's a bit of a sugary, kind of a burnt sugar maybe, that they're calling it black sugar. But I feel like it's a little smoky, not very much, lightly, lightly here, contrasted with the vanilla to give you kind of a gourmand effect. And then of course, you've got this bitterness with the tonka beans, and then of course, some musk musk. Again, it's a very, very comforting note for me, very cozy. And I feel like this fragrance is very, very cozy, very delicious gourmand as well and focusing on the vanilla with the black sugar. So it's Escapade Gourmand from the house of Maison Mataha. So I'm throwing in a little bit of a curveball here. I feel like this is a very cozy fragrance and I don't, I forget about it sometimes, but we're talking about BDK's Velvet Tonka. And we spoke about it with somebody the other day and I remembered how great it is. It's really delicious. It's almondy here and tonka beans. So the almonds, the tonka beans and the vanilla here together give me a very, very cozy and comforting, very soothing, relaxing kind of a vibe. But this does also feature tobacco along with orange blossom, rose and amorous. But in the end, it's a velvety smooth tonka bean fragrance, a bit cherryness in there as well. I feel like tobacco kind of gives you that kind of cherry-like touch. Uh, very delicious fragrance. Check it out. It's very, very cozy. It's from uh, BDK Velvet Tonka. This next one's from the house of Juliet Has a Gun. It's Musk Invisible. This one right here. Again, very, very cozy here. Very comforting. It's white musk with cotton flower. There's definitely kind of a milky, powdered milky presence here. I don't know why I get that, but there's also the jasmine. So it's floral and then it's got lots of musk here. Just very soothing and relaxing. And that whole powdered milk experience gives me that very very comforted feeling. I like this one. Uh, it's, it's closer to the skin, but just very, very soothing for me. Almost to the point of baby powder, but not quite with this particular fragrance. I have another one that has that uh, touch, uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. But this is Juliet Has a Gun's Musk Invisible. Are you familiar with that one? All right, up next, going to the house of L'Orchestre Parfums. This is Piano Santal. Are you familiar with this one? This is the milkiest of milky sandalwood fragrances. 
pieces. You actually have the sandalwood, which is in its milkiest form. And then you also have milk along with it. It's just very soothing and calming milk. I'm always very comforted with the idea of milk and with the sandalwood here being both creamy milky at the same time. You're really swimming in a lot of milk here when you're wearing this. But it also features cashmere, white musk, and ambroxan. It's a musky fragrance with lots of sandalwood woodiness and the milkiness. Super delicious. Uh, there's a bit of an animalic touch in here, but not quite. But it's a super delicious, very, very comforting, cozy fragrance. L'Orchestre Parfums Piano Santal. Uh, beautiful fragrance. This is a baby powdery fragrance I was talking about. It's at the very end. I wear quite a bit of this one to go to bed with. Tank de Neige from the house of Lorenzo Villoresi. This is the EDP version. Uh, this smells like baby powder. Totally baby powder. To totally takes me there. It's powdery notes with heliotrope. There's musk, there's rose, there's tonka, there's jasmine, and a bit of sugar. It's not gourmand. It's just very, very powdery. But just imagine baby powder. And I feel like when I smell baby powder, I get a very cozy, comforted vibe. Like it relaxes me and calms me down. So I like that for that. And it does also work as a great bed scent. So Taint de Neige from the house of Lorenzo Villoresi. Uh, quite delicious. It's not, it's not a gourmand. So it's just very, very powdery. Uh, it could also come off a bit like makeup powder. But for me, it's baby powder. Moving on to the next fragrance. It's Liquid Imagine. Janaire's Blanche Bet, this one right here. Super yummy fragrance. It's a milky fragrance once again, also very, very musky and floral and just a super delicious gourmand that uh, I really like to wear. It's cozy, it's very, very cozy. And again, if you've noticed with some of these fragrances, they're not gonna be your most beast mode fragrances. I feel like if I put on a fragrance that's uber beast mode, it won't relax me, it won't calm me down. It's gonna get me excited and get all hyper because it's really, really in your face. But some of these, or most of these fragrances are should be all of them should be very very calming so they're not going to be overwhelming which is the truth about this one as well but if you like milky musky fragrances gotta try this one super delicious it's Blanche Bet from the house of Liquid Imaginaires check that out next going to the house of Javoy it's Remember Me yum 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 this is so so comforting and cozy this to me is like milk with tea uh, fragrance experience so if you like that combination if you drink it you gotta wear this one if you like the idea of wearing it it's tea with milk there's vanilla cardamom ginger frangipani woods and bergamot and even though those spices are in here they kind of give me the wake up feel the spices kind of give me the excitement in a fragrance i feel like it's not overwhelming for me the tea and the milk and the vanilla are really really super intense so that's what i'm experiencing a very cozy comforted feel when i wear remember me from the house of javoy but that's one of my favorite fragrances from that house and definitely one of the best uh, tea fragrances and also lactonic milk fragrances so up next going to the house of i profumi di Firenze, it's vaniglia del madagascar vanilla del madagascar so this is in the new bottle and i haven't figured out a difference between this bottle and the other and when i was in their boutique in Florence uh, I saw both selling so I, I thought there was a difference between this one but either way I'm going with this one it's vanilla with whipped cream lily of the valley it's kind of in that same bar ballpark as fragrance like Tijota from Indalt or something like fire at will from Javois that's kind of like that very very creamy very very silky smooth vanilla fragrance which I quite like I featured the other ones for a while I'm going with this one this this particular video because I haven't spoken about this brand for a while, especially in this bottle. Are you guys familiar with this yet? If anybody knows what the difference is between this bottle and their previous bottles, because as I said, at the boutique, they were selling both. I thought this was a more concentrated version, but doesn't turn out to be. But either way, it's super delicious. Vaniglia del Madagascar from the house of I Profumi di Firenze is the ninth fragrance. If I haven't mentioned it, this is an unranked list. Moving on to the house of Kerosene, it's Unknown Pleasures. It's about time I start talking about this fragrance again. This is probably the best fragrance from this house, follow, followed by Follow. And now there's Followed as well. So we'll be doing a video on that very soon. But Unknown Pleasures, is really delicious. It's like a lemon chiffon cake. Even though lemons to me are more like uplifting and like a sparkling and gives me like a boost of energy, it's definitely very caramelly, vanilla, and Earl Grey tea comes in here as well to give me that very soothing, uh, soft, relaxing vibe when I wear this fragrance. It's super yummy, but it is lemons, lots of it. It's contrasted with the caramel, the vanilla, Earl Grey tea. There's also some bergamot along with honey and tonka beans. Really delicious fragrance. It's Unknown Pleasures from the house of Kerosene. This next one is, man, really, really cozy. It's the idea of simple syrup. If you like the idea of simple syrup, you gotta try this one. This is Secret Sucre from the house of Molinard. 
Uh, I heard from Molinard, I, I met with them uh, during uh, the Duty Free in Cannes, they're changing bottles. Is that correct? I think that that's what they told me. But this secret sucre is like, like I said, you're wearing simple syrup with a little bit of an essence of some gourmand things in there. Like if you've ever worked with simple syrup for cocktails or for cooking, you kind of understand what I'm talking about because that's what this one smells like. But it's nougat, powdery notes, caramel, vanilla, walnut, benzoin, tonka beans, amber, sandalwood, jasmine, cashmere. Wow, really delicious, very underrated. Check it out, secret sucre from the house of Molinard. And then we're talking about uh, the fragrance from the house of M. Mikolov. This is Note Vani, the latest version. And I should also say this one kind of fits in that line with the Tijota, the fire at will. A little different. For me, I get a bit of a booziness here and I feel like this to me can be something like Tijota and a Spirituous Double Vani together, if that makes sense. But it's vanilla, rum, cognac, amber, sandalwood, and jasmine. Very delicious boozy vanilla. This is the 2022 version of Note Vani. I never got to sample the original version, which was very, very sought after, but thankfully they've brought it back. So Note Vani from the house of M. Mikolov is the 12th fragrance. Then we're moving on to the house of One Day. It's Oolong Tea this one right here. Here we have a very aromatic and uh, honeyed tea fragrance wearing experience with lots of oolong tea leaf in this one. With clary sage, there's honey, there's jasmine, bergamot, vetiver, tonka beans. So there's definitely a bit of a nuttiness here, bitter almond, but it definitely has woods in the base of the fragrance when it's drying down. But it's kind of like meshed with the tea leaf and the clary sage and the honey. Uh, come together to create this kind of like a sweet and tea fragrance experience. You know, when I am tired of coffee, I switch over to tea and I like the combination of honey, very light honey with my tea because I want the tea flavor to kind of be prominent like when I'm drinking it, not the honey flavor because sometimes honey can be strong and this is what you're experiencing here. There's a honey sweetness here but the, the, the oolong tea is so potent that you're wearing the, the drinking tea normally. But there's definitely the trace of jasmine in here as well and traditionally I noticed that jasmine comes up in tea uh, as well. Like lots of tea, different teas have jasmine especially here in uh, San Francisco when I go to like a Chinese restaurant they, they serve you jasmine tea here. It's very very prominent so it's basically Basically, lots of oolong tea with honey and jasmine, along with some uh, woods and uh, tonka in the dry down. Very delicious, very uh, soothing and comforting. It's oolong tea from the house of One Day. And then finally, it's Rirana's Vanilla Tea, their latest fragrance. Vanilla tea is vanilla with tea. Yeah, both of these are very, very soothing notes, relaxing and cozy notes for me. And the combination together makes for a super delicious wearing experience. Just imagine you're drinking tea that's soaked with vanilla, you know, top off with vanilla sugar there's definitely some citruses in here a bit fruitiness from apricot and pear and then there's some ambrette for muskiness very very cozy very very cozy this is really really delicious i need to dig into this house a bit further i have their coconut nanas now i'm quite in love with vanilla tea from rirana parfums i think it's rirana perfume i think that's how they say it but either way this is a super delicious cozy cozy fragrance for winter wear it's vanilla tea from the house of uh, rirana parfum and that's the last fragrance fragrance for you guys today. Uh, what are your thoughts on these fragrances? Is there a super cozy fragrance you wear during the winter months that uh, really kind of relaxes and comforts you when you're at home or when you're out and about? Uh, do let me know. Put a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on these fragrances. Are you a fan of them? Have you checked them out? Or are you curious to sample them in the near future? Do let me know. Put that comment down below. Either way guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If you have any other recommendations for super cozy or coziest fragrances to wear in the winter, add a comment down so I can find out. Other than that, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Alright guys, there's one bonus here and I'm going to throw it in. It might be a bit difficult and challenging to get, but this is very easy to get in Europe, especially in Germany. If you're in Germany, this is like 25 bucks, I think. This is Nivea or Nivea EDT Eau de Toilette. It's their fragrance uh, made from the smell of their lotions and those kind of products. So if you like that smell, this is definitely something you should get. So it's powdery notes with sandalwood. There's freesia, there's lily of the valley, there's ylang ylang, rose, lavender, and bergamot. But man, it's very, very cozy. It could kind of remind you of this, but they're different. This one definitely smells like 
I should say it could kind of remind you of Taint the Neige EDP from Lorenzo Villorezzi, uh, but they're different because Nivea has a very distinct smell. Their products, their lotions and things like that, and the, the Eau de Toilette is definitely the smell of those products. Whereas here with the Taint the Neige, uh, it's definitely uh, a very unique kind of baby powder smell. But either way, both of them are very, very powdery and very cozy and musky uh, and very, very relaxing, soothing to wear in the winter months. Anyway, that's the bonus fragrance for you guys. See you guys later. Bye-bye.